Round two, boys. Yeah. Let's go. Camping, hikes, and unpredictable weather are in store for our next adventure. We're exploring the breathtaking landscapes of southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales. So this is pretty exciting. This is Dave's new um, trailer, filling her up with water. Check it out, guys. <laughs> Nothing in there. Gone camping. <laughs> Com check one two one two. Bravo leader, this is Rogue One. Copy. So what's happened to our fridge is the the port here was loose, like it's it's coming out, it's just not properly fixed in. So what we've had to do is as you can see, we've put tape around it so we, it just presses in a little bit more. <laughs> and we've used the tape just to hold it in. So cross our fingers, that'll survive for the two weeks. <laughs> yes, let's go boys. Two weeks, you guys going on two weeks. <laughs> So we've just got our food, and now we're gonna fuel for the car and for our bodies. Ready to go. <laughs> After fueling up, we're off to set up camp for the night. Now with Josh leading the way, we know he's got the best camping spot lined up for us. We arrive at a beautiful place called Gordon Country, located in Main Range National Park. We find the perfect camping spot down by the river and this will be our home base for the next couple of days. Oh, the lollies are out again. <laughs> I love the I love a good worm. Well, when it comes to camping, having the right gear is important, and we've made some upgrades since our first adventure and improvements along the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cooking with gas! Yeah. Let's go, boys! Let's go. <laughs> 270 degree awning. Look at that. Look at that, right on the riverbank. So we've just set up the gazebo double tent. Okay, double tent, so check it out. This is what it looks like. So you set up a gazebo in the middle and we've got the area underneath it and then there's two tents attached to it. One there and one there. So Dave and I last year, we took only one of them with us and attached it to the gazebo. Oh, the, the only one fault in the gazebo was the middle structure yeah. pole. So um, on this one, you've got like a middle structure pole that runs right through the middle. Okay, mm. on that one, we didn't have any. So we had, Dave and I, we had to, we, had, we got, got a stick and we actually had to pop it up so water couldn't get, couldn't like sink deep, sink in the, in the, mm. in, in the top there. And um, just, uh, yeah, just move the water <laughs> when it rained on us that one time. It was awesome. Well, I guess what we got this year. Yeah, guess what we got this year? <laughs> we got these bad boys. You don't probably has, need one. Dave has come up with this idea, which is an awesome idea. Just attach it, just attach it to the end pool noodle, and boom, bothers your uncle. And set it up. Pull it up, and then just straight into the tent. There's your center pole. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Such a good idea. Previous camping experiences, we use this to clear the tent, right? Dave has come up with a brilliant innovation. Instead of this, Ooh. this. Ooh. <laughs> hook him with gas! Josh, Josh can hook you up with a good discount. Oi. Running, so yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey Sarah, what are you up to there? <laughs> what are you Look. <laughs> you need it's something? not working. <laughs> ah. I've had this fan for so many years and I've never used it. Oh really? Yeah. Man. Like a lot of my camping gear, I've had so much camping gear. So you just, haven't... just never got around to use it. Alright, so that's what we've got. Talk to us. This evening we have Coblo. And we are going to attempt to finish cooking it in the fire. In the it, fire? To make it nice and crispy. Well, it's already cooked. Just going to make it crispy. How do you feel about that, Dave? I am excited. How good are the, the Master Chefs here? I know, the Master Chefs. We've got a kitchen, Master Chefs. We're not, we're not even doing anything this camping trip, eh? I know, I feel, so, I feel, so, yeah. I feel so useless. Perfect spot. Josh just found the perfect spot. Sarah's happy. Yeah. Look at her. <laughs> that might be too hot. Whee, there she goes. Sin. She's on. 
But well, we don't want that dirt on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> It'll be cold now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We've definitely gotten closer. Come by, Sarah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> nice. My dad always likes to see Mm-hmm. 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 As we relax by the fire, we have no idea that we're about to face some serious challenges over the next few days. 